Hey guys, welcome to my first video post for Community Vlogs, which is basically a place where us YouTubers get together and talk into a camera for your amusement. A little bit of backstory on me, my name is Joe, I go by MC Glitched because that's my stage name. I've been into music for a very long time. Starting in high school, I joined choir, and I was actually in Glee Club, and it was not as fun as it sounds at all. See, on TV, everybody's just running around singing and having a great time and making bonding relationships together, but it's nothing like that. It's a bunch of bullshit. I'm sure some schools are really fun like that. Mine just kind of wasn't. None of us really cared that much about it. We all had fun when we were performing, but other than that, it's really not like they make it seem. And moving on. I was also in a couple musicals in high school, which was a whole lot of fun. My Fair Lady was great. I got thrown onto a stage like 17 times in four days, which was... No, that sucked too. After high school, I actually did a few projects with our local community theater. We did a cabaret night, which was great. A bunch of people from the community came out, and we started feeding them drinks so they would think that we sang better, and it was awesome. And I was also in Footloose a Musical, which was interesting for me because there was a lot more choreography than I'd ever been used to doing. It took me a while to get used to all the dance moves, and I looked like I knew how to dance on stage because we had really good coaches and whatnot, but I can't dance for shit. In addition to all the organized musical projects I've been in, I also do a lot of independent music and kind of have since I was about 13 when I got my first guitar. I love playing acoustic and singing songs, it's just something I've always liked doing since I got a guitar, even before I could actually play and sing. I was in a punk band, which was awesome. We played one crazy show and that was the end of our punk band. But we're talking about reuniting at some point, which would be amazing, because we haven't like played anything together in years. Probably like six years. As of October 2010, I started getting into hip-hop, and this kind of happened by accident with one of my friends, Joe. He invited me over to his friend's house, and they wanted me to record a song with them. And it turned out to be a rap song, so I wrote a verse to it, and I spat the verse on the mic, and apparently it was some flame-ass shit, because uh, they dug it, and ever since, I've been performing shows all around here. I actually opened for Freddie Gibbs, if any of you guys know who that is. He just got signed with Young Jeezy. That was insane. We picked him up from the airport and like I bought him a bottle of Ciroc to his hotel room. It was really fucked up. Now that I've started becoming a lot more serious about vlogging on YouTube, I really had to think what I wanted to make public and what I wanted to keep private. And I actually came to the conclusion that I don't really want to keep anything private. I think that it's a good thing to open up on YouTube, so that's what I'm gonna fucking do. I wasn't gonna tell you guys that I smoke cigarettes because it's one of those vices of mine that I've been trying to shake for a long time and I just can't and it sucks. I hate cigarettes. I think that they should never been mass produced and marketed and all of that stuff because they kill people. It makes no sense. Wait, it makes money, so it does make sense because that's what the world runs on. Where was I? Oh right, cancer. Yeah, I actually roll my own cigarettes now because I'm trying to quit and that helps me slow down because I'm too lazy to roll a cigarette and walk outside and smoke it. It's also a lot cheaper which is nice because it makes me feel like I'm not spending so much money on my own death. That being said, let's go smoke this puppy. Ooh, yes. The sweet taste of stress relief. I apologize for the lighting, but I really need to show you guys something, and you'll see why it's important in a minute. This is my neighborhood. I usually take a midnight walk when I cannot sleep. Well, it's more of like a 3 o'clock walk when I'm video editing and get really frustrated because I've been video editing for six hours straight. I have a little bit of an insomnia issue where I just kind of don't sleep for a day or two sometimes. And it's nice to get outside and walk around knowing everyone else is in a deep slumber while I trudge the earth. And now I'm going to show you guys the coolest thing in my neighborhood besides moi. <laughs> it's really dark, but that says Bruce Willis because that's the corner of Bruce and Willis. And that's a train that wakes me up every night when I fall asleep. And now we venture back to the house. Wasn't that exciting? Okay, that's enough about me and my neighborhood. What I'd like to talk about now is the London riots. If you guys aren't aware of the riots going on in London right now, shit's going down. It's getting crazy, people are lighting stuff on fire, they're breaking into buildings, they're stealing junk, and the most messed up part about it is that all the police 
can't do anything because rubber bullets and all types of riot control systems that we utilize as a country are not available to them because it's illegal for them to do. It's some pretty messed up stuff out there right now, guys. There's video footage of complete buildings being engulfed in flames, and all you see is a bunch of riot police standing there, backing away, doing absolutely nothing because there's nothing that it can do. As entertaining as this all might be to watch from an outside perspective, I can imagine it's absolutely terrifying for any resident living in London right now. If you're out there watching this, London, please stop lighting things on fire. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for protests. There are many things that I don't agree with that corporations, governments, and different organizations do. Now despite that, I would not go light my city hall on fire. There's different ways to get your viewpoints across to the world. It doesn't have to be through violence. This whole thing just seems extremely counterproductive to me. If you really want to fix something, then speak up about it and work together in order to do that. They're talking about shutting down social networking out there if they already haven't. So if it has happened, wait. If it has happened, you guys aren't going to see this video for a long time, so that's kind of pointless. Moving on! I don't know if you guys have heard this or not, but in Brazil they're going to be doing a heterosexual pride day. This is another thing that I don't understand at all. What's the point? Gay pride parades and things of that nature make sense to me because they are degraded and they are shut down by society and shut down by marital laws and shut down by all this other bullshit. So of course, protest, please make this change. There's no reason that we should be putting you guys into a sect of society that isn't welcome. But heterosexual pride day? Really? I won't believe that this is acceptable until I can't go out and kiss my girlfriend in the middle of any public place without being looked at with disdain. Because that's never going to happen. Look at everything on the TV, Jersey Shore, all these other shows that are all based on relationships between a man and a woman. There's no need for heterosexual pride day. No. No. I will not celebrate. I will not. So when I edit videos, I tend to cut them down into tiny little segments because YouTube has a tiny little attention span. But right now I'm just going to do a little bit of one-on-one -on -one with you guys, letting you know that I really appreciate you watching the videos, I appreciate you coming to community vlogs and subscribing and commenting and all that stuff. It's great. We have a bunch of great vloggers on this channel and it's only going to get better from here because it just started out. So thank all of you and... Oh, as for my videos, if you're digging what I'm posting and whatnot and want to hear some more stuff, comment below. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you want me to talk about, what you want me to go do, where you want me to film, what you want me to wear, what you want me not to wear, what you want me to do to my hair. Uh, <laughs> just anything. I don't know. Just let me know something. Let me know something and I'll probably do it within reason. Uh, beyond reason. I'm kind of insane, so just fucking post whatever. <laughs> Anyways, thanks guys. I will be back. Have a good day.